14-year-old Denzel Murray says he is ready to move forward with his life now that rape charges have been dropped against him and four of his friends. Yeah, I'm happy. It's over with. I'm going home and just thinking about what happened Okay. and how it makes smarter decisions. It was a case that stunned the city. In January, the NYPD and Brooklyn prosecutors charged five teenagers with gang raping an 18-year-old inside a Brownsville playground while threatening her and her father with a gun. On Thursday, a judge tossed the case against Murray, Anandi Brown, Shaquelle Cooper, Travis Beckford, and Ethan Phillip. Prosecutors said they couldn't prove their case. Some of the defense lawyers were outraged. The 14 to 17-year-olds were vilified and paraded in front of the media. There should have been no arrest at any time. It's unfortunate that this kid and these kids had to go through what they did. As the investigation continued, the district attorney said there was no gun, no rape, and the 18-year-old and her father were having sex. Some of the boys had sex with her as well. No one's here to vilify this young lady. Obviously, this is a young lady who at every point this system, our society, has failed. This was a very complicated situation. Uh, the NYPD and Chief O'Neill can speak to this acted on the information they had um, and the whole situation was very sad and unfortunate all around. Attorneys for the teenagers say all of the politicians and community activists who called for the boys to be locked up and the key thrown away should be ashamed of their actions. The presumption of innocence should always remain. We live in a society where you know, young black men don't always have the presumption of innocence. The aunt of one of the boys said it won't be easy erasing the perception that they were accused of a gang rape. It was a nightmare, but I'm glad it's over. It is it's over because he was telling the truth. He has to live with the stigma, but we're here to help him. In Brooklyn, Dean Meminger, New York One.